couple years ago, Microsoft released Volterra Box, Windows Dev Kit 2023, and it had a Snapdragon chip in it, but it was a little bit underpowered. It was meant to be a developer machine, but it came at a pretty nice price, $600, and it had 32 gigs of RAM, lots of port options. But now that Snapdragon XLE chips are out, developers need a new dev kit. And this thing looks very close to what we had before, just with the Snapdragon logo, but it's also $900, so more expensive now. But that's okay, uh, it's got a newer chip, and as soon as these things were announced, I placed my reservation, only not to ever hear any updates about this thing, even after the actual machines, the X-Elite laptops launched. In fact, uh, we haven't heard about it for a month after. Then I got an email. We're thrilled to announce that Snapdragon dev kit for Windows is now ready for shipment. Limited stock alert. We encourage you to act swiftly. And I got this email and I was on their website clicking this link ready to order within five minutes. In fact, I went in here. I saw this thing for sale. I put in quantity one, clicked buy, and it was in my cart. Wait a minute. Uh, what's this arrow? I've never shopped there. They're going to require that I create an account. So I created an account. By the time I came back to my cart, it said I couldn't buy it anymore because I guess they were sold out. So I can't really tell if it was a mistake sending that email, a mistake with the website, or they really did sell out within the five or six minutes that I was busy creating the account. I checked the next day, still nothing. Finally, I see a tweet from Jeff who did manage to order his the next day. So I went back and ordered mine. And when it's in the cart, it actually says ships tomorrow. That's quick. This arrow website is a bit weird though, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I ordered this thing on July 19th and it said that if I pay extra, I can actually have it at my house on July 23rd. It'll be shipped three days from now on the 22nd and four days from now, it'll arrive at my house on the 23rd of July. So yeah, I want that instead of waiting till much later. Well, I want to get some videos out about this thing to let you all know how it goes. So I picked standard overnight, which seemed like the logical thing to do considering priority is more expensive and it's the same date. And so was first overnight and it's the same date. Fine, I'll pay for the extra shipping. I ended up buying it and paying for it. Here's my order confirmation from Arrow. Shipping charge $20.99. By the way, I'm a little spoiled. I have Amazon Prime and I pay for that. So I'm used to getting things immediately or the next day or the two days from now and not paying for shipping. So this is a bit of a splurge for me. Here's my estimated shipping date, Monday, July 22nd. Estimated delivery date, Tuesday, July 23rd. Now, Monday came. I didn't get any kind of notifications about shipping. Tuesday came. Wait a minute. I should already have it that day. I'm so excited. I'm going to get it this day. I didn't even get shipment notifications. What's going on? So I log in. There's my order. Everything seems right, except, wait a minute. Estimated shipping August 14th. Delivery August 15th. That's not right, is it? It's especially not right considering I paid for the expedited shipping, thinking it's going to be here like today. So they're charging me for shipping, but they're not shipping it out until 14th of August. Okay, I figured I'll wait. That's fine. But I don't feel right about paying the extra money. So I shoot them an email. There is a little contact arrow page here where you can fill out a little form right here. What can I help you with? Billing issue. Put in my order number. Hello, my order was promised to ship by July 22nd with expedited shipping. But the status now shows a delay until August. I request a refund for the expedited shipping fee due to this delay. And I send it off. I don't get any notification or confirmation that they've received my message. So I decided to just wait and see. Now it's the next day. Today, I get an email saying, thank you for your patience. We can't cancel the mentioned order, unfortunately. And that's it. So cancel, that's an interesting word. Um, I, I never said I wanted to cancel my order, although I'm, I'm kind of considering it now. But since they can't do it, unfortunately, and I get this really cryptic response from them, I really have to wonder, like, maybe I should just give them a call. What a shit answer. Thank you for calling arrow.com. Hello, thank you for calling Arrow. My name is How may I help you today? Yes, hi. Um, I recently placed an order on your website. I paid extra to have the shipping be expedited. But when I check my shipping, it, it says it's not going to be delivered on the date that uh, it was promised in my email. I'm calling to see if I can get that shipping fee refunded. Um, you, on what website did you place the order? Arrow.com. Okay, do you have the web order number? Well, in this case, I will have to ask some information about the shipping to see if we can refund this. The thing here is that I will I will first have to check if I can refund you that money. Normally, what, what we do is to refund this money, but once this order is delivered. So what are my options here? Can I cancel this order altogether? I see a note here that says do not cancel. So first I will have to ask 
to that person. Uh, somebody wrote a note uh, on my order that says do yeah, not cancel? Right. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, uh, why, why would that note be there, by the way? I wouldn't know that information. I'm actually checking if there's any, you know, like more information for this order. But yes, there is a note that cannot, that this order cannot be canceled. Uh, is that something you typically yeah. put on orders? Um, do not cancel? No. No. It's it's an exception. No. Yeah, it doesn't say more. So I will have to ask that person if there was some kind of issue with the order or if something can happened that she put that note. Uh, is that... No, 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 no. It's another person. Yeah, so she, she did write me an email saying we can't cancel the mentioned order, unfortunately. But there was no explanation as to why. I know the person that put the note on your order, so I'm going to ask her what might be the issue or why we cannot cancel this one. My other question was about shipping. If I put another one of these items in my cart right now on your website, it says estimated shipping ships tomorrow. Do you know anything about that and why that would say that? I'm asking right now actually with the person that placed the note. Oh. That do not cancel. The thing here is that we are having issues with this specific part because here when we check on our internal system that we have, it shows like this part has no stock. However, it turns out that we do have the stock, but for some reason there's some kind of confusion. That's why we are having those issues or many issues with this part. So she told me that that's why she put the note, the note of no cancel, because this part, if we check it, shows us no stock, but actually we do have the stock. And we are having those kind of issues with the with the stock that we are working on them. But she told me that if you want to cancel this order, you can cancel it. Okay, you can cancel it. Uh, help me understand this. So if I place this on order and your system says you don't have any stock in it, how is it letting me order this thing? Those are the kind of issues that we are actually having. So we are trying to figure this out on, on the system and actually on the website. Because if I go to the website, it's allowing you to order this because it shows like we have five parts and they ship tomorrow but when we go inside our system it shows like there is no stock and normally those orders get cancelled so that's why she put the note of no no cancel so it didn't get entered into your system yet yeah that's correct i see but if you have the stock is there any chance of sending this out sooner than the date that it says uh, august 14th well unfortunately not because actually this item doesn't come from our warehouse directly. Normally, the items that come directly from our warehouses that we have, they are supposed to ship. But on this case, this mistake on the system with this part, and since this doesn't come directly from one of our warehouses, that's why it's so delayed because of the stock issue. Okay, I understand now. Thank you for explaining that. I don't want to cancel this, but what I do want to do is see if we can get that shipping fee refunded since I'm not getting it um, expedited. Okay, well then, I will be emailing you back as soon as I get a response, okay? Okay, thank you so much for your help. Of course, it's my pleasure. Have a great day. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a little bit extra to get to the information. And what I think happened was Qualcomm is having these things produced, but I'm just gonna guess here that <laughs> their manufacturer is running late on this. And they're shipping it directly from the manufacturer, probably in China or something like that, directly to whoever ordered these things. I don't know, maybe they're gonna make a stop at Aero's warehouses or maybe not, but... <sighs> There's a couple of problems here. One is the delay in the shipment, the delay in the manufacturing, my guess. And the fact that Arrow's website cannot handle these kinds of exceptions at all is just really frustrating. But she was really nice. And, you know, she was doing her job, trying to figure it out on the fly. Probably hasn't had to deal with this kind of stuff before. I just don't know why Qualcomm didn't just set up their own little shop so they can sell it out of their garage. It's probably not that hard to set up an e-shop for a company like Qualcomm so they can sell their own machines. I mean, they've done this before. Back in 2021, they released a Snapdragon dev kit for Windows on ARM. I don't know how they sold it back then, but they've already done this a few years ago. They should have learned some lessons. Now, the funny thing is, when I go to Arrow's website and go to secure checkout, even now it's July 24th, apparently I can get it on July 26th. They will allow me to pay up to $120 extra so I can have it delivered to me by July 26th, but yet, they don't have the stock so 
this is a lie. More like, I guess, um, an oversight of whoever is managing uh, this checkout process here. Now I know what's really going on and it's a pain, but I don't think anybody's being evil here. There's just zero transparency going on here and it results in a frustrated customer. Speaking of frustrated customers, I recently had a Best Buy order that was not delivered to me. That video is right over here if you want to check it out and I'll see you next time.